Happy Prime Day, everyone. It's Coach Craig Rowe here with a live stream on the Amazon platform. Of course, I have a number of deals to share with you today, given that it is actually Prime Day. So if you're someone who's been waiting for this event, then welcome and hopefully you'll share with me where you are in the world. So if you want to have, um, or if you have any questions about any of the products that I share today, make sure that you put a comment in the comments and I'll try to answer them. I am a sole operator, so I have to try and navigate the app. So please be patient with me. I am in Australia, but I am broadcasting into the US, sharing a whole heap of products that I personally use. Now, there are no brand supported products in this particular live stream today. All the products and opinions are honest opinions to help you make informed purchasing decisions. So we're gonna go through these and we're gonna check them out. And hopefully something in this marathon uh, of, or this massive sort of marathon uh, event that I'm hosting here is uh, going to resonate with you. It's gonna be something that you might be interested in or buy. So I've got a number of items across a number of categories. I know a lot of creators here on the Amazon platform like to focus on one particular thing. But today I'm going through a whole heap of categories, uh, including stationery and technology, as well as sporting items and even just homewares and kitchen items and things of that nature. So hopefully we will get through it all together. But first of all, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you are joining me, make sure you tell me where you are in the world in the chat. And also feel free, like I say, to ask any questions about any of the items that I'm going to share with you today. So let's get straight into it because it is a marathon, not a sprint today. We're going to go through a whole heap of different items and I'm kicking it off with items that I actually use as a content creator. In case you're someone who's looking to better understand how you can create content yourself, you might be looking for the devices that people like myself use here on the platform to achieve the results we actually do with our content. So whether it be live streaming or podcasting or YouTube, which I do all of, um, then I'm gonna show you some of this stuff. So first of all, I'm going to be starting off with what you can see in the carousel there, which is really a good deal, obviously with prime deals on at the moment, half, almost half price. This is the Tahoe Low Pro camera bag. So I'll um, give you a little bit of a, a look there in the light. Now, what I like about camera bags like this is that there are so many compartments that you can hide all different uh, items. There's zips just about everywhere that you look to help you, you know, hide all your goodies and things that you need when you're creating content. So this is a camera bag. So this is where I store my main DSLR, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. So I'll try and put this under my top down camera so you can have a look at what's inside and how I use it and we'll talk about the bag, what makes it so great, and also some of the items that I've also got here in the carousel. So I'll just open it up, we'll just change this angle here, and let's have a look at what we've got. So you can see inside the camera bag, I pretty much stored just about everything that I would need if I'm on the go to create content. It's all in here. So little shotgun mic, which I'll talk about in a moment. I've got my Lumix camera, as well as my spare lens, which I'll talk about those. Also got another little shotgun mic with a fluffy and uh, battery charges and things of that nature. Also talk about this device here shortly, which will uh, is very useful when you have a DSL uh, camera. But talking about the Tahoe bag here, you can see you can store almost just about anything you want in this sort of bag with all the separative, you know, separative sort of compartments these are all adjustable so you can uh, use the velcro to adjust them to the size that you want to fit the items in that you need so a really useful bag and really well made i've had this probably for about four years i would think now and uh, i found it to be extremely useful for carrying around when i'm creating content and uh <clears throat> just a camera bag is really important to keep all your items safe. And this one is really well built and padded all around. And one of the features that I do like about the bag is that it has a really ha hard back. So where these straps are, 
this section here is really firm so that when you're wearing it, it doesn't have items digging into your back. Um, and also straps are, like most backpacks, adjustable to make them more comfortable for you. So if you're looking for a camera bag that really you know, does about everything you'd want a camera bag to do, like protect your equipment, be comfortable when you wear it, uh, relatively lightweight, good little handle to there, um, has multiple compartments that you can just hide about everything and anything that you want in, then this is a bag that I think is worth having a look at. So the Tahoe from Low Pro. Now, I'll move along in the carousel because if you were observant, you would notice that I actually grabbed something out of the bag as I was uh, working. Now, this is a Steadicam hand grip. Um, it doesn't come with this attachment here, but uh, this grip here on its own, if you look at the carousel, is one of the most useful items that I would say I've ever purchased. And I use this for my YouTube channel. So people ask me what type of coach I am because I am Coach Craig Rowe here on the Amazon platform. I'm actually a basketball coach. So I shoot film uh, on YouTube helping coaches and teachers help their athletes improve. And what we do when we do our film shoots, a lot of people will use gimbals. We choose to use a steady cam grip like this because it allows us to get different angles and the camera does actually stay quite steady. It also has a nice little feature where you can attach this to a tripod. So you can see here, and this is movable as well, it has nice little bearings. So you can sort of adjust your camera. Your camera would attach here to where you want it. Plus you've got, three horseshoe mounts to put different devices. So you could put like a shotgun mount here. You can, obviously I've got this, which is uh, actually holds a screen. So when I'm shooting, a screen goes on this and connects wirelessly to my Lumix G7 camera. So I really like it. It is lightweight and well-made. And uh, I like how the grip also has like these foam uh, indentations here that allow it to conform comfortably to your hand when you use it. You can also use it like this. We, we've used it to, to shoot in, you know, this sort of format and or holding it like this and give us the ability to move it. But, you know, if you have a look, it's on sale and it's a really useful item if you have a DSLR camera to add to your camera kit. And I thought I'd throw it in today's live to give you some ideas of you know what you might be able to use instead of the more expensive gimbals um if you're someone who doesn't want to go to the expense of using you know a 360 gimbal or something like that a three axis gimbal then this may be a easier simpler and more affordable solution for you as well so that's the u grip from ulanzi so check that out in the carousel there and i'll move on to the camera which i was just talking about and i just showed so this is the main camera dslr camera that i use and you can see again prime sale um, is a great opportunity to take advantage of all these deals right now on the platform from all the major brands you really uh you know have no better opportunity to go across the platform and just check everything out right now because most stuff you're going to see discounted now this is no exception and this camera i've had for a couple of years but they do upgrade the cameras and it's a nice little dslr which is a 4k camera and uh it's perfect for just about not only photography but you can also use this you know for creating content videos on youtube i'm going to be talking about an adapter that's available that you can use to attach this to your computer and use it as a webcam and also use it for live streaming. Now, I do use this for another YouTube channel that I have and uh, I use it to create the videos in 4K. Uh, I don't use it for my uh, basketball channel, but I do use it for a content creation channel that I have also on YouTube. But this is the camera that I basically chose because it was highly recommended from other YouTube creators. And uh, like most of these you know, cameras, it has just about everything that you would want. I don't have a battery in it, I just realized, and uh, there's a reason for that, which I'll tell you. <laughs> when it turned on, I didn't have the battery in. I've had what's called a coupler, which I'll show you as well later, that actually plugs into the camera so I don't have to use it on battery, which is really useful as well. So it's uh, you can get multiple counts. It's a micro four-thirds uh, four uh, mount, uh, so you can get multiple lenses. So basically, these lenses are basically the equivalent 
to a full focal length, but they're smaller. And that's why I like this camera is it makes it really lightweight to use. So uh, I, I highly recommend it. If anyone asks me, you know, what sort of camera to use, I do recommend this one and or, you know, similar in the family from Lumix. And uh, it's a camera that, you know, I've used for multiple not just taking photos, but video. I've used it plugged into my computer as like a webcam uh, for content creation. I'm not sure what I did with my my cap there, but <laughs> so so yeah. If if you're looking for a nice camera that has the ability to shoot in 4K, you cannot go past. Uh, the, I'm looking for my my lens, so uh, my lens cap. So I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. So, so yeah, it also comes with a, a sun visor as well, which I took off there. So when you buy the camera, you get a sun visor, you get a lens. This, um, not can't remember what the lens is on this at the moment, but I'm trying to read it in this light. Uh, I'll probably get it wrong. So I don't think it says it there. It'll probably say it in the camera kit. So have a look at the listing and it'll tell you what the standard lens is on that one. Um, and I also have another lens, which I'll come to right now, which this is the uh, Lumix G Vario. So that's the family of lenses. And this one is the, uh, I think it's a, I'm trying to have a look. I can't see it on there. Um, sorry, it's a 45 to 150. This is the, 45 to 150 focal length, which is actually the equivalent of a 90 by one, uh, 90 to 300. So when we talk about the micro lenses, we're actually referring to the size of the mount, but this is a fraction of the size of a full length lens and it's fully automatic as well. So you have autofocus, you can manual focus with it. Uh, they're really a smart lens. And one of the things I really like about the Lumix lenses is they're really lightweight. So if you're someone who has to hold a camera for a long time for content creation, then this isn't as heavy as some of the other models made by some of the other brands. And Lumix is really popular among a lot of content creators. So that's on the carousel there. If you have a look, you'll see it's a, another lens that you can buy to attach to the Lumix G7 that I just shared. So make sure you give that a look if you're interested in content creation, check that out in the carousel and uh, take advantage of all the deals that are on the Lumix range here on the platform today. Moving along is this, which is a nice little shotgun microphone. So if you're out shooting uh, in different conditions, sometimes having, you know, different microphones uh, is a really good option. I have a couple of microphones that I use and I also tend to go with microphones that or lab mics that are wired up to me as well. I do prefer to have the mic attached to me when I'm doing content creation. However, if you're shooting in environments that are conducive with, you know, some wind noise and things like that, then getting yourself a shotgun microphone is a good option. What makes shotgun microphones so special is if you have a look at the end there is that they are a directional microphone. So the microphone points in the direction that you're speak or pointing the camera at. That's why I started pointing the microphone at. So that's why we refer to it as a shotgun microphone. But what I like about this one is that you have a number of different options on the microphone itself for high pass and low pass filtering that allows you to change the settings based on, you know, what sort of noise levels you may have in the environment. So this sort of has a built in noise gate uh, that is going to filter out certain frequencies. So say you've got an air conditioner running in a room, then you can put on your filter to make it or compensate for that noise to help clean up the audio pre production. And if you're a content creator, you know, the importance of, you know, actually doing that like cleaning stuff up pre-production if you want to save time as a content creator then getting the right equipment that can help you achieve results where you don't have to try and fix it after the fact is something that we're all trying to do as content creators so if you're looking for a shotgun microphone again i think this one is an absolute bargain i certainly use it and from my experience it's hasn't failed me to date so i'm happy with that product it's relatively lightweight uh, it takes an AA battery, so I won't 
won't open it. It also has it also has a shock actually a shock mount, so so it ha has its own shock mount there that you can see as well, and goes on to a horseshoe mount. So if you have any questions about anything that I'm sharing, then make sure you do ask in the comment section, and also feel free to say get a wherever you are in the world. I am in Australia, and uh, if you haven't detected that accent, then yes, I am an Australian broadcasting here on the Amazon Live platform. There are a handful of us that do so. And uh, I wanted to share this next item, which I showed when it was in the Tahoe bag. And this is what I would, I think this is actually a really useful item and I'm not sure which cameras that it's actually compatible with, but this particular device allows you to connect your web, uh, so your DSLR cameras to your computer. So if you're someone who's looking to find a solution to allow you to convert your DSLR camera to make it use, use it as a webcam, then this is a good option for you. You do have to get your own, it doesn't come with a cable, but basically you need a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. So you'd need to get that while you're here on Amazon if you're looking to get this item, but you can see their HDMI video capture card. It plugs straight into USB 2 and it will allow you to plug in cameras and other devices to allow you to capture the video streams from those devices as well as audio as well. So uh, a really useful item. And if you check out, you know, the deal here today, you're going to realize that that's a bargain <laughs> so for something so small that does such an amazing job. And I use that piece of equipment for uh, for what, using my DSLR camera when I record content for YouTube when I'm not live streaming. I don't use, I use a different camera for live streaming, which I'm using now. And uh, it's a really affordable item that I think just everyone should add to their camera kit. Now, I'm not sure what your camera can do, but if it does have HDMI out or mini HDMI out for that matter, then I would expect you should be able to use that device in your content creation. Now, I did say with the Lumix G7 that I turned it on and I didn't have a battery in it. And there's a reason for that is because it has been plugged in because I've been creating some uh, content on YouTube. And this is the adapter that I use for it. Now, if you have a DSLR camera, this is a Kimaru adapter and the Kimaru range supports different cameras. So if you're someone who has a DSLR camera and you need to give yourself constant power so you don't want to run a battery all the time, then this is an item that you can easily use to give your camera power. Uh, constant power. So the reason my camera doesn't have a battery in it is because I took it out of, uh, I took this out and this is basically what this does is it will duplicate the battery and you can get these for any number of DSLR type cameras. So if, you know, you look at your, if you go to Cam Camaru, or Kimaru, sorry, and you have a look at your particular model, look for your battery model, then there's likely to have a coupler, one of these that can then be used to replace your battery. So if you're filming in an environment where you are constantly uh, keeping the camera running and you don't want to change out your batteries, then it's a really useful item. I won't take it all out of the box, but basically everything you need comes in the box. You get the instruction manual. It also, the instructions shows, actually we'll show that. It does show that these come in a whole heap of different uh, ranges of adapters for different cameras. So you can see Sony, Canon, another Sony. So if you are looking for an adapter or a couple of they're called, a battery, a dummy battery for your particular model, then you will find that this may well be an option for you if you hadn't considered it. And uh, what's unique or way you know whether your camera will take one of these uh, adapters is because there'll be a little sort of plug section on the camera on the side of your camera. So here, where your battery goes, you're going to see this. And what that basically means is if you see that on the side of your DSLR, then it means that you're likely to be able to use a battery coupler 
So a lot of people miss that on their camera because it looks like that when it's closed. And uh, if you go looking for that and you have that, then there's every chance that your camera, your DSLR, is going to support your uh, couple of type batteries, the power batteries that you can see there uh, from Kimaru. So take advantage of that opportunity to check out their page because they don't just have the one that I've listed there. They may well have the one for your camera. While I've got my G7 open, uh, there's the mini HDMI plug adapt where I plug in my HDMI capture device that I just shared previously. So again, look for your on your camera to see if it has the mini HDMI and it should be compatible with what I just shared. So thanks for joining me here on this marathon of a deal day, prime day, uh, where I'm going through about 39 products. And we're, I'm saying it's a marathon, not a sprint, but we are getting through these pretty quickly. So if you have any questions about anything I share with you, make sure you ask them. And also if you're visiting from anywhere in the world and you're hearing an Australian accent, then make sure you give me a shout out and say g'day wherever you are in the world. And I'm more than happy to say good day back so uh thanks for joining me on today's stream and uh make sure you give me some love as well if you're here if you're watching make sure you hit a heart and let me know that you're enjoying the stream today we'll move along to the next item in the carousel which is another content creation item here so this is my original gangster of webcam so when i first started doing podcasts I use this cam camera from Logitech and I use a lot of Logi and Logitech's uh, cameras. And you can see it there in the carousel. So it is a HD Pro webcam, so it's 1080p. And I don't think you can go wrong with uh, these sorts of products. So this is the 920. So it has its own like mount that you can mount it to a stand and everything. You can adjust it and uh, you can get covers for these as well. but Basically, it's just USB operated, 1080p, it has automatic focus as well. So uh, I, I'm using or I use this one for uh, my podcast when I did People With A Passion as a podcast years ago. Um, but I highly recommend the Logitech webcams. And the next one in the carousel, while not on a deal, while it's not, uh, there's not a deal or doesn't appear to be a deal today, that is the one that I'm using as a top-down camera. So if you're seeing my top-down camera and wondering what camera I'm using, I'll just, it is in fact the 922X. So I'm using the same camera as my top-down camera there. Uh, well, it's not the same. It's actually the, the bigger brother, I guess, of the 920. So originally when I live stream, so if you're a gamer or you're something, uh, you need that high quality camera that you can also adjust um, and or allow it to autofocus or you want to adjust the crop or crop it, then it's a really useful camera. And a lot of uh, live streamers on YouTube actually choose that as one of their main cameras and or a camera that they use, including people here on the Amazon platform and no others that I talk to who are Amazon influencers do use that camera for similar purposes to me. Um, it's just a convenient camera that auto focuses when you put things underneath it to help you know, improve the quality. So I often get asked actually what I use to switch these cameras around. And if you're not familiar with it, uh, we, I, I actually use what's called uh, the Stream Deck. So the Stream Deck is a switching device, but it's, it, it uses software, but it's a little bit more than that. It really is a workflow device. So the buttons that are on the Stream Deck can be programmed for any number of tasks that you want them to do. So basically this plugs into your computer as a USB, and then you program these buttons and they trigger events. So you could create a button, for example, that literally opens all your main programs when you first get to work. You could easily, and I'll just move it in the carousel there, you can easily click on the button to do what you need to do as a workflow. You could also have a button that would close those. So you basically program events with these buttons. And while this version has 15 buttons, you can also create a button that is a folder of other buttons. So basically you have almost infinite 
uh, number of tasks that you can set. Um, you can also use this for live streaming, as I'm doing, to change different camera angles. And you can see how easy it is just to make, you know, push a button and now I'm on a different camera. So if you ever wondered how some people may well be doing this, there are other devices, but this is the one that I chose to use from Elgato and no better day to buy than today, prime day. So <laughs> check out the deals and uh, make sure that, you know, if you think this is something you need, it's not just for live streaming and content creation. It, it really is for workflow. You can use it for so many different options uh, and program it. And it's, it's a really useful device. And as it says, like evolve your content there. So it is perfect for people in a space like me. So if you're considering doing content creation, this may well be a item that you could yeah, consider. I will just show you this actually. This is, I'll just see if I can bring this around, point it at the, so there it is there. But what I like about it, I'm not sure you're gonna see this. You're not really gonna see it at that angle and I don't wanna pull my uh, iPad around, but, um, it has, actually I'll try it this way, it might be a bit easier. So it has the TV screens on each of the buttons. So you can see as I move that, you're gonna see that each of those buttons shows me what the camera's actually doing. So if I wave, you're gonna see some movement. So the camera that's moving there is the one that I'm on. And basically you get to see what the button is and program it so each one of those has its own little <laughs> screen so you can actually see what the camera is it's pretty uh it's pretty cool actually when i first noticed or saw that when i was programming it i'm like wow this actually has a little screen that allows you to see what camera you're on and what images are being shown so yeah the elgato stream deck i won't bang on about it anymore but it is a really useful item for workflow and content creators and content creation in general so something you might not have been aware of that you may consider now when i first started i'll move along in the carousel when i first started podcasting i was looking for an entry-level microphone because i wasn't sure whether i would stick with podcasting and I, I have done multiple episodes of different podcast series and seasons and things. I do podcasts in seasons. So if I you know, want to go back to them, I can always create more content. Uh, but I was looking for something in case I decided that it wasn't for me. I didn't want to go spend a lot of money on equipment. So the very first microphone that I settled on, I, I settled on and oh, I tried a couple of microphones, friends, microphones and things. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So what I did is I found a microphone that I thought was good enough for me to produce my very first podcast. And it actually was this microphone here, which is one of the biggest and best-selling microphones that you'll find on, on Amazon. Uh, it is a condenser microphone, which basically means it needs power to operate. And unlike a dynamic microphone, which doesn't, you will need some source. So maybe a USB adapter that goes into the computer to offer the mic power and or a mixer that has fan what we refer to as phantom power so 48 volts so if you're someone who's looking to get into podcasting then this might be the option for you if you don't want to spend a lot of money up front i'll just give you a look at what's in the box and you can um, see that it is a kit it's a full bundle and basically everything you would need comes in the box, uh, including, you know, a mount, your, your mount for your scissor arm there. You get the microphone, you get cable. What else? You get your adapter here for, say, recording. Uh, it's, it, you get some filters, so you get your windsock and get other mounts. So it, it really does have just about everything you would want or need to get going. It also has a pop filter and you're not going to probably want anything else. And that's why I like this is because I thought, well, I'm getting everything that I would want or need right here in this kit. And I didn't have to go buy scissor arms or anything extra to make this work, right? Um, it was literally plug into a mixer. That, that was the only other thing I had to buy. and it was such a useful item that I now have multiple around the office. I, I literally bought extra of these 
um, I've got them in cupboards and, and just about everywhere. So even when I go out, if I go out and record a podcast or something where I'm sitting at a desk, I take a mini mixer with these microphones and uh, basically I just record on them. Now, I had someone ask me once when I first started what microphones I was using and this particular individual was actually a podcast editor and producer for some TV stations here in Australia. And when I told him what I used and how much I paid for it, he couldn't believe it because he, he literally said, wow, I can't believe the quality that came out of or comes out of your microphone at that price point. And it's probably not surprising that that's why it's such a prob uh, popular product. But if you haven't noticed, I have gravitated onto this next one, which is this one here, which is the Rode pod mic. So as with most content creators and podcasters, we tend to go looking for items when we sort of settled on, on starting out and we improve. We're always looking to improve the products that we use to try and improve the outcome for the audience. And I settled on the Rode mics from uh, the Rode pod mic for both podcasting and YouTube and also my videos that I create here on the Amazon platform and also my live stream. You can see I'm using one here, but these are really robust microphone. Now Rode is considered one of the best, I think, brands for podcasting and content creation on the planet. There's several that are really good, but you know, this is a brand that is Australian as well, which makes me even prouder of the work that they do to create the products that they do. They've just released a whole heap of new microphones and mixes for all types of content creation. But I really love the pod mic because it's such a solid build. It's a it's all metal construction. It has its mesh windshield here. So it's got windshield built in. It has a pop blocker built in. It has a shock mount, which you can't see, which is built into the diaphragm of the actual microphone inside the mic. Um, and this is really robust. It takes an XLR. I'll give you a look under this one. So it takes XLR cable. This is a dynamic microphone. So basically what that means is for you to use this microphone, you would actually need to get a mixer. You'll need something with phantom power to operate. Uh, sorry, you won't need a mixer. <laughs> I get that wrong. Uh, condenser mic, the last one needs um, phantom power. Though. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. So this is a dynamic mic. So you wouldn't need your powered mixer to actually operate this microphone. So check it out in the link there. If you're looking for a microphone that you need for say podcasting or just general recording, it's good for all forms of narration. It is a broadcast quality microphone. That's what I like about it. I had a stint on radio several years back and uh, the microphone certainly helps how you sound. You can improve your voice if, uh, it's, if it's like a really good high-end quality broadcast microphone. And I absolutely love the sound, like you're hearing the sound that comes out of it. I do have a bit of distance between me, but if I brought my voice in, you get that deep radio voice sound. So that's the pod mic from Rode. So hopefully if you're looking for something like that, then check it out. Now, if you're wondering how I'm delivering the audio to you, then it's this next device in the carousel. These, interestingly, I, I know people were sharing that they were on had deals in other countries. So I'm not sure why I don't have a deal on these today, but uh, I, I've thrown them in there because I do get asked. Uh, I'll just spin this around, but this is the Rodecaster Pro 2. So you can see it here. So this is the mixer that I'm using to go through on this live stream right now. So what I love about this mixer is that it pretty much does everything you would want it to do as a audio creator. So you can add sound effects, you can record straight to it. You can do what we refer to as uh, multi-track. So you can record each input as a separate audio output. Uh, it, it's really an upgrade on the original Gangster, which I also have. So the original Rodecaster Pro, which uh, this is definitely an upgrade and I have both, I do use both. But what makes it uh, special is, you know, you can throw in a whole heap of sound banks and sound effects and upload, you know, backing music and things of that nature. You can have up to four guests in the mixer for, you know, multiple microphones if you've got a larger, say, podcast or audio production. Um, it all has uh, Aphex 
processor, which allows, you know, for all different things like high pass filters, noise gate, all the sort of ducking, that sort of stuff is all um, able to be programmed within the Rodecaster Pro 2. Plus it has a nice beveled or angled touch screen that's highly sensitive and really easy to use. It has some virtual mixing channels as well. It can be connect connected up to two USB-C uh, inputs. So you can connect it to a computer and say an iPad or something like that with certain cables. So a really useful item for content creation if you're looking to start a podcast or want to improve your audio, or maybe you're in a radar or you're in business and you're trying to create some audio content, then I don't think you can go past the quality and the sound production that comes out of uh, Rhodes, both microphone that I shared a moment ago, or microphones and or mixers. So thanks for joining me here on today's live stream too, by the way. So if uh, you are somewhere in the world that you want to give me a shout out, I'm more than happy to say g'day. I am in Australia. I am Coach Craig Rowe, and I am sharing with you some of the deals that are available here on Prime Day. Um, we're going to go on to this one, which is I I like Logitech, as I said. I think I'm a bit biased. Now, none of these products that I'm sharing here, by the way, are sponsored by any brands. They are my own products. So if you're wondering if they are sp sponsored, they are not. Uh, I have had some brands send me some items, but because I'm located in Australia, unfortunately, most brands don't want to work um, with Australians when they can just send products to influencers in the US, which is no problem for me because I still create content and still enjoy giving you, you know, my opinions on what products, um, you know, I use and also help you make informed purchasing decisions based on my experience. So I'm in my office space here. So I use this office for content creation as well as my other business that I have. And this is a mouse that I have all over the place. So more than one mouse in the house here. Um, this is the Logi M185, and it is one of the more popular mice or wireless mice uh, on the platform here. So if you're looking for a reliable wireless mouse that can be used for both left and right hand, then the Logitech M185 is certainly something that I would recommend you consider. Um, it lasts a good amount of time with the batteries when you put the batteries in and, uh, you know, these guys have been making mice for such a long time. I would think that if they don't know how to make a mouse, a good mouse these days, that there's a problem. Um, they're really good at most of the peripheral, peripherals that they're making, I would certainly recommend. And uh, I use all, most of my stuff that I use around the office is actually this particular brand, um, with the exception of maybe a couple of keyboards that I have. But um, I'm just going to move to this next one. So... To give myself and my mouth a little bit of a break from talking, I'm going to share with you this um, video and uh, hopefully I'll get it all up. This is just going to give me time to grab a quick drink and I'll be back. But uh, this video here is of the Lenovo screen that you can see, which I wanted to share with you today because it's, I mean, look at the deal that's available and uh, it's a really, really useful item. So. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm just going to mute this audio and I'm going to open another one and then we'll share a video with you and hopefully it works if the universe and the stars align. So if you're looking for a 27 inch screen, then Lenovo is renowned for its quality. And this one certainly does not disappoint. The L27 E30 is a 27 inch full HD LED backlit LCD FreeSync screen. And it is in the ultra slim category with a 178 degree wide viewing angle. It's perfect for PC use and office use and it also has a visa mount. In this case I've actually purchased this and installed it in my mother's craft room so that she can use her digital magnifier from a yo-yo. So really nice screen. I like the build of it. Obviously Lenovo is a reputable brand so I don't think you can go wrong with something from this particular family of monitors. I hope this helps you make a purchasing decision and maybe we'll catch up in a future video. So you can see there the Lenovo, I don't have that with me today, but that is a video of the unboxing of the Lenovo uh, 27E there. So if you're looking for a screen of that size uh, that's made by a reputable brand, then check that deal out. I don't, not here on Prime, uh, Prime Day, I think 
it's a really good Prime Day deal and one that, uh, you know, I wouldn't miss out on uh, if, if it was. If I needed another one of those screens, I definitely would uh, go with another one. So um, check that one out. And I'll move along. Uh, this one, obviously, most people do have tablets these days, tablet devices. So I've just thrown this one in here again because there aren't too many times in the year where you get to get Apple products at a really great price. So if you want to check out the Apple iPad, I am actually broadcasting on the iPad, which I'll show you here. So I like to show that I, I do use these products. So if you know, you're know you looking at you know whether I'm sharing something here, like I said, I want to give you informed purchasing decisions based on my own knowledge and experience. I do use this. And also if brands reach out to me and send me products, I will give you the pros and cons of those said products. So most of the products I have, I will actually have purchased for personal use and or have been provided by brands, but I won't go with a product that a brand offers unless I actually feel that it will be useful and something that will serve others and both me as well. I know that sounds a bit selfish, but I don't just make you know videos on stuff that I don't think is going to be something that is useful. So it also will tell you the cons. So if you have any questions about anything I'm sharing here, then make sure that you do reach out and ask. Now, I did a video that was highly popular that I did have a number of brands reach out to me about to, um, to see if I was able to make some other content for them. But I'm going to share this one as well as a video. Uh, the reason being because I couldn't bring it here into the, the office or the studio with me today. So if you're someone who needs to clean your house and you're old vacuum cleaner has broken down, then maybe this is a solution for you. Um, this is the Miele Triflex uh, HX1 uh, vacuum cleaner. It goes for about two and a half minutes, so please be patient as I share this with you. But uh, hopefully, if you're looking for a vacuum cleaner, again, I've chosen this item because there's so many amazing deals here on Prime Day that you know this is your opportunity to get some of these items at a really bargain price. And uh, I, I wanted to share this one with you as well. So just mute my, mute my audio and we'll get this video up for you. This big box just arrived and we're going to have a look at what's in it. It's a Miele vacuum cleaner. So this is the Triflex HX1 and it has three actions. That's why it's called the Triplex. So you can see everything that comes in the box here I've laid out for you. You of course have your user manual. You also have a handle which has uh, adjustments for speed. You also have your 60 minute battery. You have some attachments for when you use this as a hand vacuum for say cleaning your car or something like that. Then you have your actual vacuum head for floor. So carpets and also tile floors. Of course your charger, there is a stand and also you have your wall mount to help connect the charger to the vacuum. We also have the main shaft that is used to extend the arm so that it becomes a vacuum cleaner instead of just a hand vacuum. Let's see how it looks when it's put together. So the handle clicks into the top of the vacuum cleaner unit itself. So this is the main hand vacuum. You have a release button underneath the handle that you can use to release that handle should you need to modify it. But basically that slides into place then your shaft for your vacuum cleaner does the same it locks into place and then the last component which is the vacuum head itself clips in at the bottom like that so with all that clipped into place you can see it now looks like a vacuum cleaner we're going to attach the battery the battery basically clips underneath the handle just by sliding it up and into place so that it locks in. And there you have your Miele Triflex HX1. We're going to place this on charge. We'll be back to check out how it goes vacuuming this mat.
And to empty this, it's really easy. You just twist the top cap off the filter and we're going to take this outside and we're going to release the bottom and empty the contents that we just vacuumed into the bin. It's really easy to remove the filter and also empty. And there you have it, the Miele HX1 vacuum cleaner, versatile for both vacuuming and also doing furniture and using for say the car or a handheld vacuum cleaner and a upright vacuum cleaner. So there you have the Miele Triflex HX1. So if you're in the market for a vacuum cleaner, that is the one that I'm using at home and it does a really good job. Uh, in fact, I'm impressed how good a job it actually does and I'll tell you why. It just takes up so much stuff out of your carpets and your surfaces that it's, I, I just get intrigued by like, you just go, where did all that stuff come from? It really, uh, takes everything it's like it's like I did, you can't see what's there and that you run it over your carpet you know and you just see how much stuff actually gets built up um, over a period of time so it's a really uh, useful item and an opportunity to grab a bargain uh, from a again reputable brand I like to go with brands that have a good reputation as well so when I mentioned that some brands had reached out to me with opportunities for me to potentially review other products. Something I do consider is whether or not those particular products, uh, I guess, um, whether it becomes disingenuous, disingenuous, big word, uh, for me to then do a review on another product that is actually similar. Um, I can do a comparison potentially, but some of the brands that, you know, I see, I don't necessarily know. It's not that I don't want their product, but it's just that I feel like if I say this is such a great product and get another vacuum cleaner and say that's a great product, they may well both be great products, yes, but um, it's just one of those things that I think there's always brand loyalty as well. It's a little bit important or is important, not a little bit. It's quite important. If you find a product that you like and you tell your friends, then it's a bit hard if you say, oh, and by the way, this vacuum cleaner is great too, this one, this one, this one, this one, because then it starts to look like, well, are you just a salesman, right? So I don't view myself as a salesman here on the Amazon platform. I try and find products that are useful, that are going to help you make, like I say, informed purchasing decisions. Like this one now, disclaimer, my mum hates this. She thinks this is the most ridiculous thing that she's seen. And I don't know whether it's just a lazy male thing, but I actually like it. She's old school. She likes the colanders and things like that. But basically this clips onto a pot which you can see there in the carousel how it works and basically it allows you to strain different things so you can basically strain your you know pastas and you know if you're cooking vegetables and things like that it just clips over a pot and it's uh, sort of made of a silicon uh, a food grade uh silicon there that allows you to clip this over a pot and pour stuff out so it's it's called a, a, a snap and strain snap and strain so an opportunity to get one of these or a couple uh put them in a christmas stocking around christmas get them early and gift them to family members i tell you what uh my mum's so used to using the colander that i couldn't get it to use this but i actually do use this so uh, whether it's a male thing um, where sometimes we're just a little bit lazy, then that's one I thought I'd throw in for you to check out while we're some on some home type products. Now, this product was gifted to me. This is the Nutribullet Go. So you may well be familiar with the brand Nutribullet. Well, this product is, you know, a on the go type blender that they've brought out or released for people who are on the go. So if you're someone who likes to take a smoothie as you leave for work or something like that, then this is going to be a nice little product for you and or for a gift to someone who is on the go. So you could throw in some protein type uh, shakes or something like that with this particular product. So basically it's a battery, battery powered, so you charge it via USB and it comes with a charge cable so basically you charge it there and uh, it does come with a protective cover so 
protective cover looks like that. Uh, when that's on, no one's going to hurt their fingers. You cannot turn this on um, without a cover on it. So it has a added safety feature in that way. You also get a portable cup or your mixing cup with a lid and a lanyard there to stick around your wrist if you're walking or running and you want to you know, put a beverage in here that you've mixed, then this is what um, is useful. It's a useful item for doing that. So basically you just put the cup over the top and when I put that on, you'll see that it, I'll just do it again actually, take the cup off. When I put it on, you'll see it flashes, which indicates that the cup's on securely. Then you hold the button down for a few seconds and it'll come on and it'll be flashing. And then I would be allowed to tap that quite quickly twice to blend it. So something that's really easy to use and great for people who are on the go or you want something like this in the office, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, of course, when you are ready to take this away, you just remove your mixer, your mini mixer, oh, wrong lid, <laughs> and you throw your lid on. And now you're ready to take this off with you on the go, as it says. So Nutribullet Go, check it out. It was highly popular as a Christmas gift, as I discovered last Christmas, that I know that a few people got one of these. One of the things I liked about the Nutribullet Go too is I, I'm not a smoothie type person, or haven't been in the past, and I have used that a couple of times now. But what I liked about it too is if you're not someone who knows how to make a smoothie, then they're going to solve that problem for you as well. So they're going to give you some recipes inside the book as well of, of you know, some nice, delicious things that you can make yourself for uh, with the Nutribullet Go. So that's something worth you know considering both for yourself and as a gift, as a reward. So I better move that along in the carousel um, so you can see that one. Again, another one that's on a prime deal or discounted at the moment with all the sales that are going on. So make sure you check that out by looking in the uh, looking in the carousel there, uh, the Nutribullet Go. Now, this next item is a mince chopper or meat masher. And it's a little bit unusual and basically it's used to mash or chop mince and stir it so you can use it for like chicken mince or normal mince you can also use this for I'll just move along in the car have a habit of forgetting the carousel so check out the carousel so I, I thought this was a good deal two of these buy one for you one for someone you love and uh you can use this to stir mince and break it up and or onion or also things like bacon pieces it's a really useful item that since I've had this is gets regular workout in the kitchen at home. So make sure you check it out. And uh, I do have a video floating around on that particular listing as well. If you want to see how it actually works, then just go and check out some of the videos of myself and other influencers that we're sharing there on the platform. Now, this next one is one of my favorite items. Um, I, I love companies that and it's, well, yeah, reinvent the wheel is what I would say. And this is one of them. This is the chopped pot from Joseph Joseph. And I have shared this in lives on kitchen items here on the Amazon platform in the past. So uh, if you check the carousel out, you're going to see that there is an opportunity to get the large one. I know that these sell out pretty quick. My experience is I've had people ask me if they know anywhere else that they can get hold of this. Um, other than Amazon, and that's because they can't get it on Amazon sometimes, and I'm talking the large one. Often the small ones are, uh, are available, but this size sell out relatively quick. So take your opportunity to get hold of one while it's here on sale on Prime Day. But this is a good chopping board that you can use to chop on. It has like nice silicon grips on the back here. So these are silicon, so non-slip. and Basically, it's not going to go anywhere. And you can cut on this and then you use, you squeeze the handle and it forms like a shovel shape. So what happens is you can then guide the stuff that you've cut into a container or pot or something like that. Now, why I like this actually, it's, it's useful to just about anyone, but 
why I like this is I, I actually got this for my mum, who is legally blind. She has macular degeneration, but what it does, it allows her to direct that into a pot if she's cutting. So if anyone knows um, what that condition is, then this is something that can help someone who may have a similar condition. So not only is it useful for everyday use, it may be um, useful as a accessibility item, I guess, for you know a loved one that may be in that situation, but a really useful product. Um, now it does have the the hole there to hang this on a hook. And I have been asked, does the handle, I had to think about what that was called there, does that handle lay flat? No, so if you wanna put this in a drawer, it does lay, I guess, if you look at it, it lays sort of flat, but um, but it's it sort of doesn't, if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so, yeah, so if you're looking to lay it in a drawer, it is relatively flat. Um, you could all, always, like, sit it up like that if it fits in your drawer, so this is out of the way on the side or something. But uh, they've given you the hole there. I would recommend hanging it or putting it or sliding it inside or behind something in your kitchen is how we use it. Um, we don't hang it, we just slide it along the side where other sort of boards and things may well be. So how you use it, up to you, but some people have asked, does it lay? Does the handle lay flat? Short answer to that is no, but it does have, <laughs> I will say something I do like about the handle is it has the these little dots are actually the grip. So it has a really nice grip that you can use to hold this. So. Yep, Chopped the Pot by Joseph. Joseph, check it out there in the carousel if you're interested. Now, this is a really simple item that solves a problem for a lot of people, uh, and that is opening jars. Now, this jar, I'll try and close it as tight as I can. Um, obviously, when you buy jars, they're often vacuum sealed and they can be really hard to open, particularly if they've been in a fridge. So this next item is this, which is a jar opener and it's adjustable. So basically this here has these gear mechanisms that allow you to adjust this around the size of the jar that you would actually want to open. So what you do is you open it right out and you just pinch them together. So basically you pinch it together and then you continue to turn and you'll find that that'll loosen that lid. So really easy item and a simple item that is one of those things that, you know, if you're someone who struggles to open jars or knows someone who does, who, you know, is always handing you a jar and saying, hey, can you try and open this for me? That maybe instead of um, taking that off them, maybe you should hand them this. So this is, you know, an item that I think is a really nice gift for someone who probably has everything and doesn't know they actually need it. And uh, it's, it's just a stainless steel construction, very simple design, easy to use, and highly useful. So if you're someone, like I say, who needs help with opening a jar, then I highly recommend that. Uh, I use that at home on a regular basis and uh, hasn't failed me yet. So I don't expect it will fail you. Um, we'll move on to the next one, which is the Sharpow 6-in-1, which is a gift that I think is perfect for any Boy Scout or person who thinks that they're a Scout. This is a knife sharpener but it's actually six in one so it also has your honing stick there it um, has i'll show you under this camera it has the ceramic honer so fine honing you have your carbide right it also has a whistle built in so so if you're out and about this is the sort of thing that you can add um, to your camping kit that can not only help you sharpen knives, but maybe if you need to draw attention to yourself, you could use this. Now, the other thing that it has, which is hidden, and I'm looking for it, is a, a flint. So you can actually help start a fire. So you can use your honing uh, rod to use this to start a fire. So if you know someone who likes camping or something like that, then that's concealed in there. You can also use like a lanyard through the hole there to make sure you don't lose it if you want to put it around your neck or attach it to something else. So 
Very simple, very basic. I do like that it has like this rubber here, this silicon that allows you to hold this while you're honing a blade or sharpening a blade so that you can keep your fingers out of the way. You don't want your fingers in the way if you're sharpening. So I like how engineers think about these things. And this is certainly a nice little compact knife sharpener with some added features, which I think is really useful if you want to add this to say like a fishing tackle box or a, what did I say, camping kit, like if you're a camper or something like that. So if you're looking to make someone a happy camper, then make sure you give them one of those, gift them one of those. And uh, I think they you won't go wrong giving them that. So this is another useful kitchen item that has uh, been quite popular. Uh, the videos that I've shared have proven quite popular. Um, it is a vegetable chopper. I often get this wrong and I say a Mandalorian, but I think it's a mandolin, it's known as. So basically it allows you to you know, slice and dice, just slide it out here. It comes with a whole heap of different attachments. Now, one thing I will say, and I said in a previous video on some kitchen items is this one came with this like drip tray, but I don't see in the photos the drip tray. So I'm not sure if that's that's a normal thing with whether I was just lucky or I got a different different one, but it, it Mine came with a drip tray, but when I ordered it, it didn't show the drip tray. So I'm hoping if you order one, that you'll get the drip tray as well. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was just odd because I didn't expect it, and it did come with one. So I'm, so I'm not sure whether why that is, but the picture search sh certainly didn't show it. But basically, it's a slicer die, so you can check it out. That you can have different size uh, size um, dices. You know, you can there's um egg yolk separator here. You know, you get all your different blades for slicing and grating. So it's a, it is it is a useful item. It's relatively easy to clean and store. It's basically a vegetable chopper. There's, it, it's, um, I have a video here too you can check out if you want to go look at my influencer storefront here. Then um, basically what you do is you can put your, you put your items in here. Um, you put your, dices and things in here and then you can push down on that and that will allow you to dice and then you can also take the dice apart out this bit and you can slice as well so a, a really simple kitchen item that you know is highly useful so something i think you could add to just about any kitchen and or give to anyone who loves cooking uh, and or cutting in your family you know, who's the person in your family that's a slicer and dicer? I don't know, but if they don't have one, make them the official slicer and dicer in the family. And uh, I don't think you can go wrong with something like that. Uh, and obviously sharing that because you can see that there's a little bit of a discount there for this particular item today. So while you're checking out the deals on Prime Day, then that's another one for you there to go have a look at and see if that's something you think you might be interested in for your own kitchen. Right, next one, moving along in the carousel. This is a really good deal, all right? These are the sorts of things that you need to carry in your first aid kit. Now, I am a sports coach. People do ask me, you know, why am I called Coach Craig Rowe? Well, I am a sports coach. So having something like this in a first aid kit is really useful. Um, this is a, as you can see there, a ice pack, a reusable ice pack from the brand Revi uh, Revix. And there's a few things I like about it. It's it's already cool to touch, but what I like about it is it has the felt feel here, and it also has the embossing to conform to different parts of your your body. Um, now it is said, does say it's for the knee, and it is a gel-based cold compress, right? But even though it's it suits and does work on the knee, with the adjustable Velcro straps, you can secure this to other parts of the body if you need um, to provide, you know, anything, you know, any sort of relief that you may be looking for from a cold compress. So uh, I like the Velcro too, has like really fine hooks and I find it really strong. So I'm really pulling on that. So I think that if you want something that's going to stay on as well, then I don't think you can go past this particular brand. Um, and just the quality of that 
is uh, is really good for a cold compress. I, I, I like that they've considered how this would feel. That it's not going to stick to your skin. So if you're someone who's looking for something that's going to help them, you know, should you need some relief in, yes, yeah, say your knee or other part of the body that that can fit, then maybe that's something you can consider there while it's on a prime day deal. Now, I love this. I absolutely love this. As I said, I'm a basketball coach. So this next product here is one of my favorites. Um, I wish I had these when I was a kid, but this is actually from oh, a couple of items down here. <laughs> this is actually from uh, And One, and it's a light up basketball. So not sure how well you can see that, but when it gets bumped, it actually lights up. So if you know you've got someone who's playing during dawn or dusk, dusk, it has LEDs built into the ball. So when it detects some sort of movement, the ball actually lights up. So this would make a great gift for you know someone who's a little bit younger, who might want to you know play on in the outdoors during the summer. So you can see it here, and uh, it's by a reputable company and one if you ask your kids if they like basketball they're going to know who or what and one is uh, and also it came with a pump as well and one of the questions that gets asked is does this ball allow you to change out the batteries and the answer to that is yes it does and it comes with a tool to do that so if you look at the ball here you're going to notice this and there should be one at the other side too. So this is where the batteries go. And what happens is they will give you a tool uh, that you can actually use to remove those batteries. They are a button battery. And even though the, the tool's provided, they're not going to just come out easily. It, the tool's there because it's something that isn't designed to come out easily and the tool's there to leverage the battery holder out. But basically, if it stops functioning or working, then you can replace the batteries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that one over to the side and I'll bring it back um, when the lights go out so I can tap on it and show you how it actually works. But in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll throw in a video of this next item and then I'll come back to that one. So I'll just come across to a video uh, of the ASIC. Asakuki, Asakuki Smart Wi-Fi Aromatherapy Diffuser. What a mouthful that one was. All right, so bear with me. This can connect to both Alexa and Google Homes as well as to a mobile phone, either on iOS and or Android. The user manual it comes with does outline how to connect to any of those devices I just mentioned and or you can use the buttons on the bottom to control this device as well. It's not only an aromatherapy and humidifier, it's also a nice LED lamp. I've put the water and the essential oils in the holder and now I'm just going to turn it on and now it's going to cycle through a whole heap of different lights. Now when you settle on a colour that you prefer, you can easily tap that button and it will remain that colour for the lamp. Now I haven't turned on the diffuser yet, to do that, I hit the button on the other side and now it'll start to give some aromatherapy. Now, if you fill this up, it's said to last about 72 hours. So hopefully this helps you make a decision as to whether this product is for you and hopefully I'll see you in a future video. So that's the Asakuki uh, diffuser, which I actually have here with me, but I don't have it plugged in. That's why I shared the video. So this is basically what it is, which is a oil diffuser for aromatherapy and basically has the ionizer in the bottom. You put water in oil, as you heard there, essential oils. And this runs for probably about eight hours. The box uh, and the manual was a bit generous in what it suggested it could run for, I must say. But um, get about an eight hours out of this or, or eight to probably 12, uh, depending on existing humidity. And you do have different settings that will allow it to have a faster stream or a lower stream, which obviously will uh, make the vapor evaporate quicker or, or you know, slower. <laughs> That's always looking for a word. So yeah, but a really nice item for around the home too. The amount of people that have come into my home and mentioned how nice the house smells. And also when they see this, 
in colours like we choose blue, but whatever colour you choose that you fancy, um, a lot of people have commented on they really like the the design of it, I guess, the uh, decor that it matches. So something for you to consider I mean, your own home. If you're interested, then make sure you check out that while it's on a Prime Day deal here on the Amazon platform. Now, this was a really popular item um, for Christmas last year. It's also discounted at the moment, so I thought I'd share it again. Now, this is the 3D moon lamp. So if you haven't seen one of these before, um, then where have you been probably, actually, is what I should say, because they've, they've been proving really popular. But if you haven't seen this before, basically it's a night light or lamp, which you can use to provide a different type of mood to or accent to a room. So perfect for kids if you're looking for a night light or lamp for your kids, then this is something that you may want to consider for them. Now, it does change colours and it also comes with a remote control uh, in the box somewhere, which allows you to do different modes and things as well. So I'll just see if I can make this work. So just uh, like a disco. So, so yeah, you can see that you can cycle through different modes and colors and set different colors, 16 colors it's said to have. It also comes with a a stand as well it charges at the bottom there and it is also a touch lamp so when i touch that it does turn on you can cycle through to turn it off it does have a stand that it also comes with as well which when it comes in the box it just pieces together and uh, i don't know that i need a computer to work it out but i think basically that's all it does and that's your stand it comes with this nice sort of stand that it would then like sit on do it properly, <laughs> that they would then sit on somewhere in your house or room or wherever you want to put this. So it proved a really popular item, particularly amongst kids around Christmas time. So if you haven't seen one and you're looking for, you know, something that your kids might not have, um, if you've got younger kids that need that night light, or if you have an office and you want to put an accent in the corner of the room, then I don't think you can go past, you know, a unique sort of uh, 3D mood lamp or moon lamp uh, for your deck or whatever part of the world you're in, you know, how you want to use it, whether it be in the office and or at home, I'm sure you can find a use for it. So while we're on some lighting, I'm just going to throw this in. So behind me, you'll see some blue and some pink. Well, that light is being generated by this particular product here. Again, sharing it because it's on a deal. So everything I'm pretty much sharing with the exception of the Rodecaster Pro 2 and the mic, pod mic here, um, everything else that I'm sharing is actually uh, a deal and a bargain uh, while Prime Day is on. So there's either discounts and or Prime Day deals on these items. So feel free to check them out. Um, I won't show you the actual lights. They are, I don't know if you can see it actually. No, I'm not going to be able to see it from there, but um, it's on the ground. They're on the ground. They're USB. You can use USB to power them, so they're plugged in at the moment. Um, you can also use a power bank with them if you choose to, but uh, they come with their own plastic stands that are adjustable. They also come with the filters that you can see there in the carousel. So make sure you check those out. If they're something you want to do is add some accent to, say, a live stream like I'm doing here, then that might be an option for you as well. Which brings me to more lighting. So this is the Tropical Tree LED desk lamp and a really good discount price at the moment. And uh, before I go to it, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to try and grab this ball and without it lighting up and see what happens when I hit it. So, so when I hit the ball, you should have noticed that it lit up. Hopefully you did. But I said I was going to do that just to show you what it is and what it does. And uh, I'll just pop that one away. But this next item is to my left and you can't really see it. But I will show you this camera angle and give you a look. This is the Tropical Tree desk lamp. So you can see this arm here is the scissor arm that goes up to the light, which you can see there. And it's casting a key light towards me. 
while I'm in my live stream here. So it's not just for live streaming and content creation. This is a really useful USB powered light that can have different Kelvin adjustment and also brightness uh, and you can decrease the brightness. And the fact it's on a scissor arm, it also swivels 360, makes it useful if you want to cast light when you say reading in a work environment or an office environment. It can be attached to the desk with the scissor arm, as I just showed. So it, for me, is a really useful item, not just as a content creator, but if you are someone that needs to cast extra light to help you read, then I think the Tropical Tree LED desk lamp is a really useful item and one that I use not just for live streaming, but I use here. This this desk is actually my office desk, by the way. So right now, a lot of stuff that would normally be on this desk is cleared away for this live stream, but I definitely use that. Which, speaking of office, look at all these segues. You can see I was organized today. So, so if you check the carousel out, this is the Expo Odor, uh, low odor dry erase markers that you can see there. and. I use these or this brand of markers and I've done some videos before, but look at all those colors. Like um, if you are someone who does presentations or you pitch, then make sure you take this opportunity to grab yourself a set of all these markers because they are vibrant color. They're not your usual colors, as you can see. And uh, if you look at the deal that's there today, you're going to say, okay, I don't want to miss on, out on the opportunity to get something that's a little bit different. And what makes these so special and important is that one of the ways we learn is through color one of the ways we memorize thing things rather is through color and if you're someone who is a teacher and or a trainer um you know you work with adults in particular uh, or you're just pitching and you use a whiteboard strategy then maybe this is something you can consider because all these colors will help stuff stick when you're talking to people and sharing your thoughts and ideas so really simple item, useful item. But again, I mean, check out the carousel and you'll see the saving there and you'll make a decision as to whether that product may well be for you. Now, I mentioned something earlier about uh, happy campers. So if you've got a happy camper in your family who loves to camp, then this next product is something that I would highly recommend you grab while uh, it's on you know, Prime Day deal. And this is your camp light. So this is a solar camp light that can be used not just for camping, which is why I like it. It can also be used for around the house, say in a shed, or if you want to cast some extra light somewhere, the LED, no, sorry, not LED, the solar panel is on the top there and you can use this to recharge this particular lamp. It also doubles as a, you can charge it here, but you can also uh, use this as a power bank so when it gets a charge if you're camping you can actually use this to power other devices and it also has you know a little hook that you can use say in a tent so if you want to add some lighting to your tent then this is a good way to add a good amount of lighting also it comes with a remote control so you can you know, push that on and off and it has three different modes. So you have mode one, which is the one that's on now, which is the highest brightness. Then the next mode, I don't know you're going to notice it, but there you go. The, I'm not going to get off that one. And then there's a strobe as well. I'll actually push it here, might be easier. So you can adjust it here as well as with the remote. And uh, it also has this feature if anyone's smart enough to know what that is, um, that's SOS. So if someone's stuck somewhere, so say they're on a boat or they're out in the bush and they got lost, then this will do an SOS for you, which is why I think it's the sort of thing that adding to a camping kit is, or even you know your boat, if you have a fishing boat or something like that, this is a really good item that's going to allow you to you know signal for help. So along with the Sharpal 6 in 1 knife sharpener that had a high pitch whistle, I think that this sort of item makes it useful. It has so many use cases. The other thing that this is really useful for, and uh, I actually had a play with this, is when the power goes out. So if your power goes out in your house, or say for example, the amount of light that this casts inside just a normal size, say bedroom, 
um, is absolutely amazing. You can literally work under it. So if you are looking for something that you could say store in your garage for that odd occasion when you need extra lighting, say you have some form of power outage or, you know, some unfortunate natural disaster where you need to give yourself some light, the solar panel on there will charge that. It also has that power bank facility as well as the ability to cast a good amount of light in a good size space. Um, I think it makes it a absolutely useful item. And like I say, if you check out the deal here on Prime Day, you're probably going to not get a better opportunity to get this at a great price. Moving along in the carousel here is this one, which is, it weighs a ton, but it is, I think, let's see if I can get this out. Yep. It is the Fat Max from Stanley. It is a tool. I did say I'm across multiple categories today. And this is a really <laughs> thick measuring, measuring tape, but it's only in the metric system. You can get these in uh, feet and inches, but this one is purely in millimeters. And uh, the reason obviously it's called the Fat Max is because that tape that you can see here is about, I think it's 31 or 32 mil wide. Um, and it is really strong. Like it takes a lot to try and bend that. Plus it has the three rivets on its hook. So this isn't going to break over time. You also have the little hole there. So you can you know, put it over a nail or something to measure the distance. Um, it has a really nice uh, smooth guide rail, which allows it to retract really smoothly back into its holder or ho holster. Um, and the other thing is, has this nice belt clip that you'd expect of, uh, you know, higher end type tape measures. And it's really well made. It has this rubber type grip that you can use when using the measure itself. And of course you have your stop here so you can lock it off so that it doesn't roll back into the, into the holder. So if you're looking for a really robust tape measure, then I don't think you could look past the Stanley Fat Max. All right, so check that one out while it's here discounted. Uh, there's most households and or people who work and renovate are going to need that sort of item to help them get the results that they want. And here's another one that is also uh, worthy of your attention while it's on a deal. And this is the Irvin Hammer, all right? So this is an all purpose or general purpose hammer at 16 ounces or about uh, half a kilo, 454 grams, it says. Um, what I like about it is it is a, I don't know what that's called. I keep getting mental blanks. Um, it's a fiberglass construction. So that's not wood. This neck is not actually wood. So a lot of hammers, have different constructions, but this is a synthetic type lightweight material. I like the ergon how ergonomic this actually is. This is rubber, nice rubber grip and has good weight to it. The other thing I like about the uh, head here, which is a claw hammer, obviously, um, is that it has a coating of like a plastic that covers the head that's going to help prevent it from weathering easily. So a really useful hammer that you can use just about anywhere in the home for all purposes, uh, lightweight. These come in a whole different number of weights. So depending on your needs and or your own strength, then you can check out the listing and see if there's a hammer that suits your needs and or your strength, I guess. But this is the general purpose hammer. That's why I shared it because more people are more likely to use it. Uh, claw hammer as well, give you the ability to pull out nails and other items as well. So I uh, hope that's one that you want to take advantage of. Now, the next one in the carousel, I do not have with me actually, so I won't um, share that. Or oh, you can check that out yourself if you choose to. Uh, I have a video on that one uh, on my storefront. I did forget to put the video up. That's why I can't share it with you, but I would have shared a video otherwise. But if you go to my storefront and or that listing, you will probably find my video that will demonstrate what that is and what it actually does. If you look at the carousel there at the claw, uh, Fiskars four claw stand up weed puller, 
Um, I call it a weapon against weeds. It's for broadleaf type weeds and allows you to clamp down on the weeds and pull them out. And as I say, if you go and check that one out, you, you know, if you click on that one now, you're going to actually go and check out a video there or maybe do it later. Um, you'll see me demonstrating that one and how it actually works. But I forgot to get the video up, so I apologise for that. I missed that one. Now, the next one is the Halos Cold Compress on face mask. Now, the only reason I ever bring this one out for a live is because I get to wear it and look like a superhero. So this is a really useful item um, for, you know, giving some relief around the face if you want some cold. So this is where I get to be a hero on a live stream here on Amazon. But what I like about it is a lot of cold compressors actually, I think I'm looking a little bit <laughs> funny there. Um, a lot of, lot of cold ca compressors uh, you know, have the eyes covered, right? Well, this one leaves the eyes open so you can actually see the world while you're providing a degree of relief. So if you're someone who's looking for a cold compress uh, for your face, then this is a nice product. What I like about the product itself and one of the reasons I recommend it is because the silicon feel feels like a skin, feels like skin on skin. And for me, I don't like cold compressors that stick to the skin. And this one doesn't. And that's why I like it is because it just doesn't stick. And it's really useful. You can use this both hot and cold. So you can put this in a microwave for a brief stint. I think it's 15 seconds, 20 seconds. And it can be used as a warm compress and or you can put it in for a similar amount of time. Uh, about 15 minutes, I should say, not a similar amount of time, um, into a fridge, say, or freezer to cool it down. And uh, you'll get a similar amount of cooling out of it as the time that you put in, if it's 15, say, 20 minutes, then you should get that as a cold compress from it. Comes with a nice little case too that you can, or holder um, with instructions, but also that you can throw in to a fridge to make sure it doesn't touch any of the, you know, food items and things like that. So. Yeah, a really useful item, but I also think it makes a useful gift. and something you can also add to your home's first aid kit should you think you need to provide any sort of relief for the facial area. Um, while we're on faces, another one coming up to the end of the live now. You guys have been with me a long time. The few that have popped in, I want to say thank you for coming along and checking out the live. Uh, we're going to talk about this one, which is the... Marva Gel Cotton Sleep Mask. So this is a travel mask. So if you're someone who travels, then you may want something like this. Um, it is a really lightweight cotton mask with adjustable straps at the back. And it does a really good job of blocking out light. So if you're in an environment where there's ambient light and you're wanting to get a rest, so say you're on a bus or a plane or a train for that matter, or you're in an environment where there's you know, some light around you, but you don't want to be bugged by the light, maybe you're listening to music, something like that, then this is a really nice sleep mask, not just for sleeping, but just for blocking out light. Uh, the reason being is because not only is it lightweight and adjustable, um, it's again, it doesn't stick to your face. It has like a belt feel, sort of can't really see that against my black shirt, can you? So yeah, it has a nice feel to it on this side it also has this nose bridge that's adjustable so if you want to adjust the nose bridge around your nose uh, most light will enter a light a, a night mask through the nose or nasal area so having this sort of nose bridge piece of wire here is a, a good part of the design i also like that the strap is not only adjustable but it's not too thick so it's not going to be annoying on or around the back of your head. The other thing they've added as a bonus is the pouch, which you can fold this up and then, or roll it up, whatever you feel is best, and you can place it inside the pouch. So I think that it's a really useful item to be able to put, you know, or use around the home. And I did get asked, how do you put it in the pouch? So I just roll it up or you can fold it and you can see it there in the in its pouch. And there's the clip 
that you can clip that to a bag or something, say you're traveling or something like that. So very, very good opportunity right now with Prime Deals to look at everything I've shared in the carousel that you may want to consider as an option for yourself and or say a loved one that you want to get some gifts for to take advantage of the sales. So I've got a couple more items that we'll get, get through uh, and then we're done for the day for the Prime Deals and uh, my Mammoth Marathon. We'll move on to this one. So this one is the Contact Pulse Oximeter. So if you need something to measure your oxygen levels, then this is going to be a nice little item for you. I haven't checked this to see if it is functioning, but it does have batteries in it. When I say I haven't checked it, I'm not sure if the batteries are flat, um, which they're not, which is good. But basically what it does is uh, you basically going to measure your oxygen levels. What I like about it too is that it does have a flip screen. So when when I flip the screen, it's going to flip and it'll also read or should read another way too I think it reads that way but I'll put my finger there it goes so I put my finger in and we'll just see what it reckons my pulse is so it's going to measure my pulse and give me a reading there now it also measures the oxygen level so you can see the top number is the oxygen level and the oxygen level is desirably needs to be above 95 so that tells me that I'm getting heaps of oxygen, even though I am talking quite a bit on this live stream, which is good. <laughs> I don't want to be losing oxygen. Um, but that's just a useful item you can add to your first aid kit and or if you're a camper, it's the sort of thing that you may want to take with you uh, in case of emergency, add it to you know a camping and or fishing first aid kit because you never want um, mishaps where you need to monitor you know, people's sort of levels to, to make sure that their vitals are okay. So that's the sort of thing I'd highly recommend. Again, take advantage of the opportunity to grab something like that while uh, there's discounts available. And then it leaves me to this last item, which I did a video for recently, um, which I'm still yet to share on the platform. Uh, and I like this item. It was a Mother's Day item, and it is the travel jewelry box. Now, what makes it good is it's really small, as you can see. It's probably about three by four and a half inch, maybe two and a half by four, something like that. Um, but it is designed to be taken with you on the go. So if you're someone who travels and you need to take jewelry with you, then this will provide a nice little uh, op option for you to take some of your jewelry. So you can see along the top here, you can put chains and it has a nice little pouch. It has a felt feel. It is a forks lever, so it's a fake lever. Uh, it has nice little clip that you can see here to keep it closed and uh, compartmentalized. You have the ability to throw in your stud earrings here through the holes, so you can also put those earrings. Then you have your normal earrings and rings, so you could have your round earrings and things of that nature. Then other sort of jewellery, this is all movable and adjustable based on what you'd need. But this is the sort of thing that's light enough to carry if you're travelling and uh, you're looking for something to say, gift someone who has everything who likes to travel. It might be an item that you haven't considered before that might make a nice gift for someone that you love. And uh, I thought it was a, a nice, useful item. And given that it's discounted today, I thought I would throw it in the carousel and make you uh, aware that it does exist if you're someone who likes to travel and wear jewellery and is looking for a place to store your jewellery while you travel. So with that, we're at the end of today's live stream. Thank you so much for being here and uh, giving me your time, whether you're watching live and or in replay. I appreciate that you took the time out of your day to come check out my Mammoth Marathon and uh, Prime Day deals, uh, always a lot of fun, a lot of excitement around how much you can buy with the money you've got on a Prime Day. So thanks for being here. Absolutely love that you came. And hopefully if you didn't check out everything I shared from all the content creation type equipment to kitchen stuff, to the Miele vacuum cleaner, to what else did I throw in there? Uh, the tools, threw in some tools as well then make sure you check out the replay of this one on my storefront. And don't forget, I do 
uh, do video live streams from time to time. So if you do like my lives and you want to see what I share, then make sure you give me a follow here on the platform and also uh, make sure you give me a shout out at times. I can see I haven't had high engagement today. I know there are some big creators who are doing a lot of prime deals. So if you did take the time to step in to this live stream, then I really appreciate that you did. And with that, I'm going to finish this one up and say thank you for being here. And I wish you all the best until uh, next time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.